His service to the country was undercover, and it was behind enemy lines. He spied on the Nazis from a top-secret plane and was even prepared to swallow a poison pill if ever captured. As News 4 Jax reporter Scott Johnson shows us, Marvin Edwards is an American hero who went on to become a legend right here in Jacksonville. The word history has kind of an odd spelling, don't you think? I know it's not polite to ask, but you were 96, is that correct? That's correct. It looks a lot like his story. They were looking for people who could fly over Germany. And in Marvin Edwards' case... Make a record of what the Germans were doing. The two essentially mean the same thing. He dropped spies into Nazi Germany from a top-secret aircraft called the Mosquito. He photographed the bodies of people Hitler murdered. Were they starved beforehand? Nothing. They got them in a field and then just said open fire. And he almost never made it out of his 20s. Were you ever in danger? Yeah, well, they gave us on the mosquito flights what's known as poison pills. Because you see, before there was a CIA, if we were shot down and were alive and were surrounded by Germans... There was the OSS. We should take the pills so they couldn't put us through an inquisition. It stood for Office of Strategic Services. My last mission, the German SS were going to build caves in the Bavarian Alps and after Germany's army and navy surrendered, they were going to continue the fight. After the war, Edwards married. You referred to him as the rock star. Yeah, he is my rock star. For many reasons, not only this. It took years before Helene knew about his previous life. It came out in bits and pieces. I didn't know all that, he, that I know now after 62 years. And from marriage to retirement, Marvin, you have 3,000 books. Marvin has kept as informed. Right, about 3,000. And they're all nonfiction. As practically any intelligence analyst you'll find. Yes, and there are books behind these books. His links to the pulse of the nation and the world were well before now throughout his life. Like in the mid-70s, when he was in one of the only economists in the country to predict a recession. Before that, he's saying we cannot win in Vietnam because he knew Ho Chi Minh, the former president of that country. Before that, he's touring concentration camps with Eisenhower. But perhaps his most prophetic words came in a newspaper. He was writing in on campus as a teenager back in the 30s, before World War II, when he wrote this phrase, a new world war is almost unavoidable with Hitler in power. Now, 80 years later. At 96, I need a magnifying glass uh, to read. He wheeled in to tell a room full of friends another headline about the OSS. Congress is awarding members of OSS the Congressional Gold Medal. But that's where our story takes a sad turn. He was doing fairly well. His daughter Carolyn tells me it was mid-December when he had his fall. But then he ran into some complications and uh, things moved very quickly. And little more than a month later, Marvin Edwards died. Ma'am, on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation. At his memorial... How do you find the words to describe your hero? World War II was just part of the story. I can find enough words to fill a book. Edwards spent decades as a Jacksonville civic activist. Dad often thought differently than the mainstream. Fighting against overspending by local government. Dad was outspoken. He was threatened with violence. And for ethics in City Hall. Dad had a resume that would make anybody look like an underachiever. But Marvin's story wasn't finished. We are absolutely thrilled to be here. In March, his children headed to snow-swept Washington, D.C. 
We got a little extra for our money's worth. It's about five to six or seven inches of snow. To the heart of the Capitol building. <laughs> to accept Dad's Congressional Gold Medal. Please welcome our honored guests, members of the United States Congress and the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Pelosi, McConnell, and Ryan all showed up to say thanks. For their indispensable contributions to victory in World War II. To around 20 OSS members in the room who served. There is no higher honor that we can bestow here in Congress. Under Roosevelt, Truman, and Eisenhower. And is that exciting for you guys all these years later? Are you kidding? Bill Becker was friends with Marvin. That's one of the, the most important things in my life. He helped track down all these old spies. After the war, I was instrumental in locating a lot of these guys, including Marvin. And get them all to converge on Washington. Can you believe you lived through all this? Marvin knew. Many times I've, I've had so many close calls. This would be another chance for us to see why All right, everyone ready? they call it the greatest generation. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Truly the greatest. Yeah. As Scott said, there are roughly only 100 OSS members still alive. That's out of around 14,000 members during World War II. Yeah, some of those members include Pulitzer Prize winning historian Arthur Schlesinger, a uh, film director, John Ford, who directed a lot of the classic movies, and Julia Child, who became much better known as a world-renowned chef. Right now, newsforjacks.com, you can find a slideshow of some of Marvin Edwards' historical moments and images from the Congressional Gold Medal Ceremony where these heroes were honored. You're going to find that story on the homepage. And I think we shared uh, something right there. Too few left from that oh, greatest generation. What a beautiful story. What an incredible man. Yeah.